G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we've been called out to do a job on a beautiful mixed reef tank. There's lots of stunning colourful corals in this tank. So we're going to take you through the tank and we're going to show you exactly how to set up a UV steriliser on a system like this. So this tank is a seven foot by two foot by two foot, and it's a mix of a heap of different types of corals. The bulk of the corals are LPS. We've got heaps of uh, euphilias like the hammers, there's a big giardini, uh, we've got a variety of stony corals like uh, we've got some turbans and there's a bird's nest. Uh, there's a couple of acros getting around I think as well. Um, but the thing about this tank is that all of the corals are showing really good colour. Now this is the second time we've been to this tank. The first time we were here to set up a dosing pump and we moved the tank onto Triton. And so since we've moved the tank to Triton, the colours of the corals have really started to pop. And the polyp extension is, is sensational. Um, there's an acan garden that sort of goes through the centre of the tank. Every single one of these acans has got its pop that polyps out and the uh, the tentacles are really showing. So it is a sensationally healthy tank and the corals look great, but the fish are also a real feature of this tank. There's a heap of chromis and other things that sort of swim up off the structure and it makes for an overall beautiful aesthetic. This tank is lit by four Hydra 26 and even with such a long tank, the Hydras are doing a really good job. There's two overflow, uh, overflow sections in each corner uh, for the water to drain down and the water flow in this tank is relatively minimal. Uh, there's a, a single Nero, uh, Nero 5 it is, on one end of the tank and that's randomising the flow. Um, there is just a single return line as well. So the flow is relatively gentle but as you can see the corals and the fish are absolutely loving it. Let's have a quick look under the tank before we look at the UV steriliser that we're setting up. So we've taken off most of the panels for the cabinet. We'll just have a look in this end here because this is probably the most exciting part for me. Uh, the Triton, which has been set up in these Hamali dosing vessels running off a uh, Kamoa doser. And it's such a, a beautiful setup. Each of these uh, vessels is clearly marked with the Triton part. So we've got 3A and 3B, two and one. And with the color coded tubing, it's very easy to see which head on the doser these go to. Um, this really is one of the reasons why this tank is, is looking so good at the moment. Uh, it was a nice tank before the, the Triton, but since the Triton, it's really exploded with color and growth. So we'll have a look at the rest of the sun. It's a relatively simple sump design. And as I mentioned before, this tank has got two overflows, one in each of the end corners. And so each of the overflows drains into this right-hand side of the sump. And this section is really uh, just a, a Dacron uh, matting that uh, traps particles in the, the Dacron just here. Uh, it's the water feeds through into the skimmer section. And so uh, the skimmer is a NIOS 220 by the looks of it. Um, and it's obviously doing a good job because this tank is crystal clear and the, the water chemistry looks excellent. So from here, the water moves through. Uh, we've got a pump which feeds the chiller and then the chiller to the UV steriliser. This is the UV that we're going to be taking out. Uh, we're going to be replacing it with the, the higher rated uh, UV twist which is a much better quality unit. Uh, we've also got a reactor which doesn't look like it's even being used. We've got a refugium section here, a relatively basic light, but the keto looks like it's growing quite well. And then just a typical return pump section with an automatic top-up 
So it's a, quite a, a basic sump system, but the size of it is really excellent. It's a, a long sump, uh, and it's clearly doing a really good job given the state of the tank. The UV that we're installing on this system is a UV twist 57 watt. And so they call it a twist because you can change the angle of the inlet and outlet. It doesn't matter which way the water goes in, but uh, in this case, we're gonna have both the inlet and the outlet facing in the same direction. Now, the plan for this job today is to have this UV set up on the same line as the chiller. Now, the chiller is a Halia 500A, and I know that this chiller has a 19 mil, 1925 uh, mil bar. So we've got that that we're going to use uh, on the UV steriliser. So it'll be the same size hose tail that the chiller takes, so the whole line will be able to be run in 19 mil hose. So the plan is, I'm going to glue our hose tail into our adapter, and then the couplings, they're going to be glued in like so, and this is what seals the hose tail onto the unit. So inlet and then outlet on the other side. So I've just got some PVC cement here and I'm going to glue this all together. It should just take a couple of minutes and let it dry. Where's my glue? First one, perfect. Taking this old UV steriliser out from uh, under the cabinet, and uh, it was relatively easy. The brackets just had a couple of screws. The hardest part was to minimise the amount of drippage onto any of the other pieces of uh, electrical equipment, but uh, it came out quite not nicely. Uh, the problem we've had with this uh, UV steriliser unit is that the tubes are no longer available. And this is one of the great things about the UV twists. The tubes are readily available. We've almost always got them down at the shop. Um, and they're a more high powered unit and much better systems. So, there's the old one. Now, we have to work out how to put in the UV twist. So, we've been struck by a little bit of serendipity because the brackets of the previous UV sterilizer actually fit this UV steriliser beautifully. So we only had to make a slight modification to this right hand side one, we moved it across a little bit and uh, it's worked perfect. So it means we didn't have to install the UV twist brackets, which uh, works out well. These are actually a relatively good bracket and they do make it easy to remove the unit. However, one of the considerations that we always look at when we're installing UV sterilizers is to ensure, if possible, that it's relatively easy to remove the tube. UV sterilizer tubes need to be replaced on a regular basis. The UV twists, we replace about every 12 months. And so to be able to pull the UV tube out of the unit without having to take the unit out of its place is a massive advantage. And with this, we've kind of done a little bit of a test. Uh, we do have this upright bar, but um, we'll just be able to squeeze it out um, and take the tube out without fully dismantling the UV steriliser. So that's really good. Now all we have to do is hook up the tubes and that'll be our UV steriliser installed. So we finally got our UV steriliser mounted in position with water pumping through it. And we're aiming to have around about 1200 litres per hour through this UV steriliser. One of the things that I like about these UV sterilizers is that they give you the ratings in milliwatts per cubic centimeters. So you can judge what sort of exposure rate you've got based on the flow you're putting through the unit. And that's important 
depending on exactly what you're targeting. And because in the majority of cases that we use these units for, we're looking to control marine protozoa, these units, 1200 litres per hour is about right. We can see that our UV bulb is lit up and that's important. You can see it clearly glowing through that transparent window that I mentioned before, so we know it's on. We also know that we've got water pumping through the unit. It's very easy to check with, with uh, this system that we've got. And so everything is exactly as we want it. And best of all, there's no leaks. Let's have one last look at the tank because there are some sensational things I want to just have one more look at before we go. Sitting in front of this tank, doing the UV steriliser, I kept on seeing things that I wanted to talk about and I'll just very quickly mention a few of them. Uh, first of all, we have a tube anemone and it's this little fluoro green guy down here. Uh, sometimes people are a little bit hesitant to use them in tanks because they can be a bit stingy, um, but this guy is going really well and he looks so cool. Uh, it's one of those sorts of things that you look at and really think that it's not even real. It's that fluoro. Also, we've got this really cool candy cane colony and uh, interestingly, this, candy, this colony is over 10 years old and originally when it went into the tank, there were only five heads on it and now there's well over 50. So it's really interesting to see a colony which has been in an aquarium environment for such a long time. Something else that I have to mention, uh, and this is gonna sound a little bit funny to some people, I think Anya will probably freak out, but I really like these palithoa. And uh, pallies are typically not something that people use in aquariums that much because of the, the pally toxins associated with them. But how good does this area of pallies look, especially contrasting with the scullies at the front? I really, really like that, and it makes me think I should use pallies in more tanks. Don't tell Anya. <laughs> Um, so everything else is really grey and colourful. Uh, the dragon salt, I think, is probably the best example of this. That favour up there, it's growing onto the rock. But even uh, this big soul colony and the pink goni, everything looks so good in this tank. So we've successfully installed the UV steriliser on this beautiful system. And uh, that's pretty much it for today's episode of Gallery Point TV. It's really nice to be able to have the opportunity to work on such a beautiful tank. Uh, the fish are so friendly, it'll be great to know that they're protected against marine protozoa. Especially this little powder blue, they really are incredibly susceptible to white spot and velvet. So that's today's episode of Gallery Point TV. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!